Hello Water Signs, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, welcome to my channel and thank you for tuning in. Uh, so if you are, do identify as a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, this reading can be for you. And we're going to be looking into your person today uh, and what they're thinking, what they're feeling and what will they do. So if they'll take any course of action, um, I'll lay out about three different columns here, six cards, and we'll see what comes up in the reading. Um, but before I jump into it, I really want to say thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. And of course, for checking into my YouTube channel, it means so much to me. So I wanted to really thank you um, all for that lovely viewership and lovely support. Um, let's give the cards a good shuffle and, and kick off with what are they thinking? Okay, what's this person thinking? they feeling and what will they do okay first column what are they thinking we've got the ten of wands four of swords okay they're having some very heavy thoughts right now um, there might be something here that they haven't revealed to you that they're sort of trying to go through right now now they're they're trying to calm themselves down about a situation but there's some sort of burden they've been carrying within themselves um, and in terms of what they're thinking i feel like they they feel tired of feeling either pressured or feeling this burden or feeling so heavy about something here. They sort of want to relax and let it off, but their mind won't let them do that. Now, I get a vibe that with the Four of Swords can indicate taking a break or an ending. Um, so they've either maybe been thinking about taking a break, maybe from speaking, maybe from this relationship, or they're thinking about just sort of needing time for a breather. So I wouldn't be too surprised if there is someone here who does um, who does um, think about maybe taking time away. Now, they might even mention that to you and say, look, I need a weekend to myself or I need, I'm going to do a trip, a, a trip somewhere. Uh, or, you know, um, if, if, I'm, if I go a little bit MIA, this is why, X, Y, and Z. So I get the vibe that they are wanting time away and that's because they're feeling a lot of pressure. And because it's a love-related reading, I would sense that they're feeling a lot of heaviness. There is something here that they can't deal with very well, okay? Or that it, it, it makes 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 them feel a bad way. Um, there, there may be a problem here, okay, that's, that's sort of consumed this person in their thoughts. Um, but the thing is, is that they still want to continue on with that heaviness. So even though they might need a break, that I, I don't see like it's a um it's a complete separation maybe for a lot of you. I think it may be like a more temporary, um, a temporary thing just so they can get their mind more clear and they can calm their mind because I'm sensing there's a lot of like a lot of activity, um, and it's almost like they they may be feeling like they've ruined something here with you, or a part of them may feel like. They've created more problems between the both of you somehow and their way of sort of relaxing the relationship and relaxing the connection is sort of to step away so if you notice that if, if they're thinking about that you might see that in certain things they may not reach out as much you may not see them as much they might they might not be as available as they once were so um, pay attention to those cues because you may um, you may notice them um, in this in this person's thoughts but they are you know it, it's almost like a message of prayer or hope so I get the the vibe that this person is hopeful or they're thinking um, they want to be hopeful because they want to continue on no matter how heavy um, this is that they're encountering now in terms of how they're feeling next column three of cups knight of swords okay they're feeling rushed they feel there's there's a, a sense of urgency they're feeling like they're on a time limit here somehow. Now, I don't know if some of you have given ultimatums to your person. Maybe they've given you ultimatums. But there's a message here that they feel something is very rushed. Or there's a countdown, okay? They, they, feel, they feel pressure is what I want to say. Either within themselves or maybe from you. Um, there's an element of them feeling pressured. It's the card sitting underneath, so they may not necessarily say it outright. Um, they may cue you on a little bit about it. But I don't get a vibe that it's going to be... Um, it's going to be heaps. Um, what I want to say with the Three of Cups, it's can, it can be seen as a card of celebration and a card of friendship and enjoyment. Um, and sometimes they feel like, it's either they feel the two of you, it, it's very limited. Like when you go on a date, 
you have to leave early because you've got work the next day or something. Or when you speak on the phone, you have to go all the time because you've got to work or you've got to do something. It's almost like they feel very limited that your time together is limited somehow. And it makes them feel anxious. Knight of Swords is anxiousness and it can make them think over, you know, it can make them overthink, especially if you are dealing with an air sign. This air sign has come up in three of the cards and this is all air energy, the way they're thinking, what they're communicating to themselves, what they're telling themselves. Um, regardless though, with the three of cups, they feel, um, they feel very bonded to you. Three of cups is like, it's, it's people we can rely on. It's, it's support, it's merriment. So this is positive in a sense where they feel like you are a supporter of them. Um, you're there and they feel very bonded to you. There's, there's, there's a real closeness. Um, it could be that they don't want to rush things. They want to sort of take it slow and that's where their feelings are. So in terms of their feelings, I feel like with the Three of Cups, um, they, they, they've been sharing their emotions maybe more with their friends and social circle and family rather than you. So maybe they haven't been honest or maybe they haven't been straightforward and said, you know, this is how I feel or I'm in love or I'm feeling this. They, they're, you are important enough for them to share their emotions, but I feel like they're, they're doing that with, with the people around them, but it's not with you directly. And it, it, it's interesting. Um, I feel like I get a vibe that this person doesn't want to rush the friendship or maybe they feel like they might fall in love really quickly because you can see the horse. He sort of like looks back at the night, like warning him, like you want to go this fast. So maybe they feel like, okay, they want to be in this friendship energy or they want to get to know you or connect with you more as a friend first, build the friendship, the love, the respect, all of those things before they come into something more. But I feel like they're trying to hold back here and not rush things Um that's what I'm getting. Now, in terms of the action they're going to take or what they're going to do, we've got the King of Cups, strong Pisces energy coming up here. Um, and then we've got the Seven of Swords. They're treading very lightly. Okay, so straight away, it could be a message of deceit or doing things behind your back. Okay, they may do something behind your back or they may do something and not tell you about it. Yes, Seven of Swords can be seen as a betrayal. Ultimately, we don't want you to get betrayed, Water Signs. Um, so keep things light where you can. And if there's you have a funny feeling about this person or about something that's going on, approach them, talk to them, you know, let out those emotions if you need to. Um, but the King of Cups is like, he, he, he can represent a very romantic gesture. So there may be someone here that does something very sweet, very romantic or very thoughtful. Do they have the right intention about it? I don't know. I feel like they may have an ulterior motive for doing that thing. They may want to get something out of you in return, um, or they're doing it to sort of test to see where your emotions are at. Because before maybe they reveal themselves how they feel, they want to see how you feel first. So they don't embarrass themselves maybe. Because the Seven of Swords, he's not doing a good thing here, okay? So he's he's aware of it and he's being sneaky. So I feel like there can be some sneaky moves here, some some strategy plays. Like, um, you know, you might be out and your person wants to spy on you, for example, and they're going to end up maybe in the same club as you or the same bar as you. Um, they may be testing your reaction. They may say something to see what you text back or what you write back. It could be that they're sort of sneaky, um, especially with the way that they're communicating but, and again, if they do do this romantic gesture, um, because the King of Cups is like, you know, he floats, he's, he's cruising. So I get the sense that this person is sort of cruising along, but what a sign this could be you as the King of Cups, um, that's come up in the reading. But regardless, if this is what they're doing, I feel like they've got emotion. I think the intention, it's not malicious, but I feel like they're doing it for one reason or another. And I think it comes from a place where they're not wanting to get hurt. Okay. The stone throne. They don't want to get hurt, okay? They're very, very soft underneath. So I feel like they're trying to protect themselves. I'll leave it at that, Water Sign. So thank you again for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'm sure we'll be in touch very, very soon. So take care and bye for now.